Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right thing. Under Vinaka Fiji in this bulletin, Fiji to get economic recovery assistance. Teachers wanted by Education Ministry. And war of words erupts in the US. From the studios of FBC Suva, Jackie Spade. Fiji trading partners are now turning their attention to economic aid to help us recover from the financial fallout of COVID-19. Australia and New Zealand have been instrumental in supplying medical equipment and testing kits, but now they see the need to help Fiji's economy get back on track. Edwin Nund reports. Australia and New Zealand make up Fiji's biggest chunk of trade and tourism earnings, and having them reach out for economic assistance will come as relief to many businesses. We're very much focused on the economic recovery phase and I'm sure that we will be working with Fiji on an economic recovery package um, down the track. We'll be looking more at how we can support the Fijian economy since Fiji's done such an outstanding job of dealing with the health crisis that, that COVID-19 has created um, but we now need to pivot in supporting Fiji's economy. Both High Commissioners say it's too early to get into the nitty-gritty of what may be coming, but behind closed doors, Australia, New Zealand and Fiji are thrashing out the details of where aid is needed most. Many local businesses have struggled to keep their head above water for the last few months and thousands of workers have been made redundant. What's the best way for us to support those who are most vulnerable? What's the best way to support small and medium-sized enterprises? What's the best way to support Fiji's private sector get through these really challenging times? And, and are there specific needs for a, a sector such as tourism that we might also um, be able to help with? Freight continues to fly. Although passenger planes are not flying, freight continues to fly in from Australia, New Zealand and elsewhere. Amidst these talks on how to reignite the Fijian economy, the Fiji First Government is also working on policies and strategies to bolster the private sector and get growth back on track. Many of these measures are likely to be announced in the next budget. Edwin Nand, FBC News. The Ministry of Education is on the lookout for teachers to become the face of the ministry for the Walesi platform, which will be launched later this month. The ministry has been rolling out educational programs on their platform on Channel 9, which will be officially launched soon. Education Minister Rosie Akbar says they have engaged the Fijian Broadcasting Corporation as they intend to keep this channel post the home-based learning period. With this agreement made, the ministry will be creating and producing its own shows. Akbar says the ministry will be holding auditions for teachers. After the auditions, they will be... Uh they will be contributing to this channel and they will also become the face of the ministry. And uh, we are looking for some very interesting uh, lesson segments from our teachers. Again, I'd like to thank all those teachers who have, uh, uh, have communicated with us and have forwarded us some very, very interesting lesson videos which uh, the students will be able to see uh, after the 18th of May. Akbar says the ministry has been getting a lot of feedback regarding the Walesi platform as students all over the country are on holiday from the 23rd of March. As COVID-19 continues to affect the world in various ways, mental health has also been a highlight in this pandemic. With a spike in the number of calls to helpline services on the daily, certain counselling services have noted that most calls were from Fijians who were psychologically affected by the pandemic. Services have received more than 200 calls since the lockdown and have predicted more in the coming weeks. Lifeline Fiji team leader Jerry Merikula says in the past two months, many Fijians have had to adapt to a new normal. And while most have learned to adapt, there are some who are still struggling. Uh, since we recorded our first case of, uh, of uh, uh, COVID-19, we have received a spike of calls. So from then till now, we uh, have received uh, uh, close to 250 calls on people that uh, people that are stressed. You know, just going through a lot of um, uh, 
a lot of trauma, a lot of stress. With no signs or symptoms of the novel coronavirus, 22-year-old Mohammed Javed Hussein never thought he'd be one of the country's COVID-19 patients. Javed had completed the mandatory 14 days of self-isolation required, but was diagnosed with the deadly coronavirus a few days later, and he wound up being isolated from the rest of his family for the next couple of weeks. Our North correspondent, Eleanor Turangayview, spoke to Javed, who refused an on-camera interview but was willing to share his story. When I arrived home, I was fit and fine. Arriving back home in Bunivangi settlement in Rakheti from India, 22-year-old Mohammed Javan Hossein completed the 14 days mandatory self-isolation requirement by the Ministry of Health and was cleared. For precautionary measures, he undertook a further seven days self-quarantine at home. This is when he received the dreadful phone call. Doctors and nurses were checking me daily. I was surprised when I got phone call that I had been tested positive as I had no symptoms. His father, Jaquil Hussein, says after the phone call, the family was forced to close down their hardware and dairy shop as well as their home and farm as health officials and police had arrived to take them to the isolation center at Lambasa College. It was very hard for us. Because we will, I was just thinking about my son, and uh, the other thing we have left the house like that. Eh? Nobody was here. Javad was cleared of COVID-19 on May 3rd and was released back home, but he had to undergo another 14 days self quarantine, which ends today. He told FBC News he was never ill when admitted in isolation at the Lambasa Hospital. Yeah, I did not show any symptoms, anything, and I got released in just in 16 days. While in isolation, the family's business and farm suffered a great loss. It really impacted me about my business. Uh, say about 40 to 15,000 loss I have gone in that period. And uh, nearly all the chicken and ducks have died. For now, the family is glad that they can get to be with other families for Ramadan. And when it finishes, they will try to salvage what they can from their business and farm as life slowly returns to normal. Eleanor Turangaybio, FBC News. Turning back to local news, the Methodist Church of Fiji has cancelled its annual festival of praise and its annual conference. Church President Reverend Dr. Epineri Vakandewavosa says this is in line with the government's precautionary measures due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The annual festival of praise raises money for the operations of the church and with it being cancelled, Reverend Dr. Vakandewavosa says they have other options. The annual Methodist Conference deals with the church budget, postings, church elections and other operations of the church. These are very tough times indeed and the financial, psychological and emotional challenges that COVID-19 and the tropical cyclone Harold have had on a community is quite uh, significant. Many people are struggling. They have lost their jobs. Many are on reduced hours and uh, income. And we are very mindful of this. Coming up, Fijiana 15 is likely to face Aussie Wallaroos in October. National Sevens players who have recently secured overseas contracts are still viable to be part of the 2021 Olympic squad. Fiji Rugby Union made arrangements prior to the postponement of the Olympics to have players that have been hinted to join overseas clubs like Aminiasi Tuimamba and Vili Monimbotitu a spot at Olympics. FRU Chief Executive John O'Connor says they will wait for the lifting of restrictions to have these players join their new clubs. Well known before, you know, if the Olympics were held this year, uh, we knew that uh, some of the players, uh, we had already made arrangements with the clubs uh, to allow them to play in the Olympics before they joined them. 
unfortunately due to covid-19 uh, the olympics have been uh, moved to next year and uh, uh, the players are just awaiting a uh, lifting of uh, restriction Head coach Gareth Baber says there has been no update on Fijian contracted players overseas on the possibility of them joining the National 7 squad. Talks are underway for a test match between the Fijiana 15s and the Australian Wallaroos in preparation to the 2021 World Cup. Fiji Rugby Union is in discussions with Rugby Australia to have the match in October or November. FRU Chief Executive John O'Connor says the final decisions will all be dependent on when restrictions will be lifted. So we are having discussions with uh, Rugby Australia on the possibility of uh, a Fijian playing against, uh, playing a few test matches against the Wallaroos sometimes in October or November. Uh, but that all that depends on the on the lifting of restrictions and uh, travel restrictions and borders and accordingly. Taking a look at today's weather, there will be cloudy periods with brief showers over eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Elsewhere, fine apart from possible isolated afternoon or evening showers. And we're looking at another cool night. And that is UFBC Morning News. Join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about the COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC TV's radio, TV and digital news. www.fbcnews.com.fj Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. खूबसूरत देश बीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव एम सी टेन एम तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप